Hey, Scott here. I just wanted to share with you today uh, what I'm doing in my shop. I have a couple of uh, 76 Performance oil drums, uh, little 30-gallon things that I got from a quick lube oil place. And I use them for trash cans here in my shop. And uh, I want to, I think they look really cool. And uh, especially when uh, I do so much with oil and gasoline and stuff like that, they're just kind of really cool to have for trash cans around my garage. So a, what I'm going to do then is to uh, try to keep them lasting as long as possible and to keep them from rusting because they do sit on a concrete floor here in my shop and I put a rubberized coating on them. So check it out. All right, so here is the drum that I use for a trash can in my shop, and I think it's about a 30-gallon drum. I'm not sure, um, but uh, I like I, I kind of like the, the way it looks. I like the, the colors and stuff like that, and I, I got it from a brother-in-law of mine that used to work in a quick lube oil change place, and uh, got a couple of them, actually. But I'd like to maintain this trash can, and the problem that... Uh, these things have is you know if they get damp or wet underneath in the bottom they start rusting out so I am going to do something to try to maintain uh, this drum uh, and make it last as long as possible so I'm going to coat the underside of it with a rubberized coating and uh, so here let's get to it all right the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of clean the bottom up I got a little uh, brake cleaner here only because it's something I had in the shop and, uh, Clean up that, that edge a little bit better.
That should be enough. All right, so I've got this product here that uh, somebody hooked me up with for free. Uh, it's by Northwoods. It's called Armor Coat, the ultra durable rubberized protective coating. I know that Northwoods is not something that's available, you know, at your local hardware store, or Walmart, or something like that. It's kind of a commercial grade product uh, available to uh, institutions like hotels, motels, and uh, stuff like that. But uh, there are a lot of other companies that make something like this, you know, for rubberizing your truck bed or undercoating your vehicle things like that so this just happens to be what somebody gave me and didn't cost me anything and that's what i'm going to use to put on the bottom of this can here it does say to use several thin coats which would be better than one thick coat it also says that this can has to be at least 60 degrees but i'm taking my chances because right now today april of 2020 in wisconsin it's about 35 to 40 degrees and we're actually expecting snow um, but uh, while the sun is shining we're going to try to get this job done it's a little breezy too so I'm going to stand upwind It's kind of hard to get a thin coat on here. got a little overspray we'll see if I can clean it up while it's still wet I'll try the brake cleaner again find out how long it takes to dry. Let's see. It doesn't really say how long it takes to dry. Well, that's okay. It's breezy out here. The wind will help dry things up. Maybe I'll hit it with a second coat when it is.
dry. All right, so here it is. It's been several hours. There, I got all the tape. And there it is. The bottom of my trash can is now waterproof and protected. So this is the this is the bottom of my other trash can, and I did this procedure, um, well probably three years ago already, uh, and maybe four. And I didn't do as obviously all the way around like I did on this one, but this is what it looks like after about four years. It's good tough stuff, but I might go back now and go around the edge like I did for that one. But that is how I keep my trash cans in my concrete floored garage shop from, from rusting. So there you go. I uh, hope I helped uh, somebody with something and gave them a good idea. Thanks for watching.